Looks like the ship's deserted. Most of the systems seem to be disabled. Only basic life support appears to be functioning. Did you hear that? Sounded like footsteps. That was no accident. The whole place could be a trap. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... They say Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore. And they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him, and it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless, so damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't!
Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. Looks like that machine is keeping him alive. I do not see any brain activity on the readouts. He is dead. This body is just an empty shell. No point in leaving him there like a vegetable. It is your decision, Shepard. But perhaps we should wait until we have more information before we do anything. That was the compassionate thing to do, Shepard.